Hey there everyone, Toby here, and today I'm finally going to do another Play Like Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray, John Mayer video. So um, let's get stuck right into it and not waste any more time. Okay, so I wrote a list of things, I've been watching the videos and, and really sort of analysing it to see what I can put into this uh, fourth lesson. Um, a lot of the first lessons were covering the raking. <laughs> which is a huge part of this sound. Now, another thing, this is also for any guitarist, really. It's all about how, how to play the instrument well. And I get asked a lot about how to just play simple things but make it sound good. So, for instance, one of the things that we do, or that I think we need to do on the guitar, is breathe a little bit of life into these scales and the way we play notes. And a very typical thing we do with the blues is... Bl um, blue, blue, bending the strings a little bit. So we're not doing like a that kind of thing. We're somewhere in between there and there. So if I play um, that or or rather than Nah, nah. It sounds a bit f flat and boring, like this, but we put a little bend in there. So the minor third is a great one to put a little, little one of those on there. You can practice this by doing it up and down your scales. It does not sound cool, but when you start using it on the right notes, sounds like it's a bit like ugh, weird. And you can hear it sounds weird, but we've got to get used to putting this in. You know, we might be used to playing scales, but we're not used to playing. So when you start doing a solo, you can hear it. So these little things, um, are really really huge in how to play with a bit more feeling so when we're playing a scale it sounds like a robot when we do it like that but if we think about how we talk to people don't even have to sing but when we talk there's commas full stops there's more expression maybe we rush certain phrases and then pull back on others it's the same thing with the guitar if we just play everything like this it sounds very boring and robotic so let's not do that ever again play two notes just that it's the minor third bending up a bit and then vibrato on the a root note so i'm doing the rake Anyway, so that's one thing. There's a great video Guthrie Govan does on this exact thing, so go look him up as well. If that didn't help you at all, listen to Guthrie, he knows everything. Um, all right, so other things like the techniques, the vibratos, slides, all these things that make the guitar sing a bit more, um, super, super, super important. So for vibrato, I was watching a Stevie Ray thing before and he's doing this thing up here and he's just like, so he's got his hand like this, holding the note with his third or fourth finger or whatever, doesn't really matter, but the idea is he's just shaking this. <laughs> um, not touching the rest of the guitar, just holding the note, giving it a big, big wide vibrato, big wide vibrato. Um, so there's that, that idea. Then there's the other typical one we do where if, um, doesn't doesn't matter which fingers we're using we're, we're basically touching the neck with this part of our finger and pivoting so we get this and you can do it slow you can do it fast you can use that for bending as well
All right, so vibrato is very important. I also use a classical vibrato, not so much when I'm playing electric, especially bluesy rock and stuff, but that's a third technique that I use for vibrato. The other vibrato is at like the top of a bend. So that was horrible. So what I do, once I get to the top, I'm basically grabbing the neck like my life depends on it and shaking my arm. Most of it is coming from the jiggling of the hand, not wiggling the fingers. I let my fingers, to a degree, I let my fingers take care of the first bend and then the shaking gives the vibrato. I can, yeah, it's difficult to do like bend the string and then do a vibrato at the top. It's possible, but I prefer, yeah, I prefer just sort of uh, bending up and then shaking the guitar. So this, Oh, and that one too. Double. Wee wee. Those kind of things. There's so many little techniques here, so I'm just kind of rushing through, <laughs> rushing through them, hoping something sticks. If you guys think this is going to be going too quick, just let me know in the comments, and I will try and do something about it. Um, all right. So we've gone through the little bends, the microtonal bends, um, the notes in between the notes. There is the vibrato, the three or four techniques uh, for doing the vibrato. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, you know, it's just where you put them. Uh, after you've got the technique, you've got to put them in the right spot and then trills. Try and do things like... Dynamics, build up the, the uh, volume, build up the speed, drop the volume, drop the speed. All of these things come into it. Think again about how you talk to people. Um, it's very much the way we want to communicate with the, the guitar. And I'm pretty sure anyone you said, you know, just sing a little guitar rock and roll sort of idea or a blues idea, someone might go, or whatever. And that's what we're looking for because... Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I think you get what I'm talking about. You're picking up what I'm putting down. I hope. Hope. I hope so. Um, what else? I've got a list in over here looking at the thing with the stuff. Oh yes. Oh yes. The tickle the butt or tickle the boobs as I like to call it. Um, tick it down. Tick it down. Tick it down. This one's a cool one. I like this one. There's a lot of licks and ideas in the in playing and you kind of can fall off. Uh, one thing I started doing a while ago was getting this repetitive. What I'm trying to do, the picking is very important. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. If you can get it like that, dig it it, dig it it. And now I can't do it. So this technique is a good one. Sloppy, sloppy playing, Toby. Sloppy. Anyway, who cares? I'm not here to play like a champion. Um, all right, so I'm looking at my list here. Uh, what have we got? We've got, oh yeah, John Mayer, mostly out of the three of the dudes, uh, plays with fingers, which gives you a totally different tone. Um, that's just the same thing, playing with your fingers, really. Just get that skin, get that fleshy tone. Um, the One of the big things is following the chords. I did a video on this uh, a few weeks or months ago, I can't remember, but um, changing how you play the blues with adding these three notes or using these three notes. Um, and quickly on that, we're playing A blues. This note is not in the blues scale, but it's the, it's the third, it's the major third. It gives that chord its major vibe. Same thing with the D, there's our major third there. E has our major third there. So these three notes, 
really give you more of the sound of the the the, the harmony. So if you're playing on a A7, you can land on that third, and that will help. And then when you go to the the D. that third there. If I want to do the, uh, go up to the E. Anyway, so following the chords, when they're soloing, they're not necessarily just ripping up and down the blues scale there is that going on but they have direction when you hear the chord change underneath something sounds like they're changing even if they're mostly sticking with the blues scale sometimes they'll they'll use these uh the third just to outline the chord a little bit more so that's a big one with the sound uh of what you know when they're solo and they're ripping it up and it sounds cool following the chords um all right what else did i have there's the double bend so what we've got to do is grab two strings uh, and try and get eh, try and get them. I kind of go whoosh, grab the first one and then roll onto the second one. It's hard to do really quickly unless you just do it all the time. I do not use this technique much at all. It's easier doing those kind of things, but that's not the same thing. So. If I'm trying to do, if I'm in E. Oh, I'm fretting out. Guitar not happy. One more little thing uh, that's cool to practice that they like to do is jumping up and down an octave. So for instance, if I'm doing um, in G. jumping up and down an octave and whatever, just stuff. So with all of my babbling, these are just a bunch of things that I picked up quickly, um, just noted down while I was watching the videos. Um, let me know if you do want me to go more in depth into this stuff, because I think the main thing is how you play your notes. And this is musical, this is how we play the guitar, this is how we play music in general. It's what you put into each and every single note that makes the difference. So you think of slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, vibratos, raking. You don't want to rake every single note all the time. Sometimes it'll sound cool if you're doing like a... You know, it might sound cool if you're doing that, but not every single time, all the time. Um, try and figure out how to play a scale tastefully. And it, scales are boring. When you do this, it's boring and I want to go to sleep. But if you play... trying to get some rhythm into it and put those <laughs> not everywhere but learn those yeah so hopefully hopefully that's helpful um it's a lot of just throwing it at you uh hopefully some of it sticks or all of it sticks if you want me to do something more specific let me know i'm not sure how much more i will be doing on this like the john mayer hendrix thing because I mean, it's blues playing, basically. It's guitar playing. These, All these things I'm talking about, they're for any style of music, really. So um, let me know in the comments or DMs, whatever. And um, hopefully you got something out of this. And I didn't just blah, blah, blah too much. And uh, let's see how you go. Let me know. Cheers. See you next time.